In this video, I'll be making a uh, archery target. I actually had one before. I used plywood and uh, MDF. And every time I shot the thing, the arrows would get either go through both of them or uh, they would break off. This is my bow. It's a nice little cheap thing that I got from a uh, um, estate sale one day. Give you an idea. This right here is what happened to one of them. And I have quite a bit of the other ones. So I actually ordered these off of Amazon. They're, uh, they came in a pack of 12 or something. The quiver, uh, I had some leather lying around and I made the quiver. Um, but in this video, we're going to see if we can. Uh, we can do canvas, and then this is the uh, uh, is it tar paper for roofs. I'm going to incorporate that into it. I have some um, uh, great stuff for this stuff. It's called fill and seal, which uh, when I went to Menards, they didn't have the uh, black can of great stuff, the stuff that I'll, uh, will actually expand. <clears throat> so basically, they're one by sixes. I'm going to glue them up into a, uh, a box. I'm going to put the canvas underneath it. And then I'm going to tack the canvas into the bottom. Um, width is about three feet uh, by about, mm, say, about four and a half feet long. So uh, I'm going to get started on that.
not even going to bother to wait for it to dry. I'm just going to take the canvas and uh, secure it with one inch roofing nails. I believe it's the easiest way to do it. And then uh, I'm going to basically take the canvas and then I'm going to wrap it around it. So it'll go over whatever side this is going to be and then it'll just swing around it. So, and then I'll show you the ending result when I'm done. And there you have it, I'm all done with it. Uh, the only thing else I gotta do is, it's quite possible I'll paint a target on here, but I wouldn't hold my breath. Uh, I don't, I'm not 100% sure if I wanna do it or not. Uh, being 100% transparent, um, I did not wrap the entire thing. I actually uh, threw it over the back side and because the foam was still wet, everything kind of stuck to the foam. So what I did was I cut it off and I left a uh, clean sheet right up to the front. So this part is actually pretty flat and it's actually pretty hard in there too. Um, I really hope I'm correct and this thing will actually stop an arrow from going freely through it. Uh, next thing to do is uh, mount it up on my current mount and uh, take a shot. Um, since I only have one camera, I'm going to try and do something a little bit special for the end of this video. And I hope you all enjoy it.